I made it to London and I made a discovery today that I'm looking at Amy if you're wondering who I'm, <laughs> who I'm looking at. I made a discovery. I, w I don't understand how people who do vlogging, how they manage to film and everything at the airport. Because I'm like, bags and passports and then the tickets. You, yeah. you don't have time to take up the camera and like film what's happening and talk. This trip is all about, well, how should we explain it, Amy? What happened? Life is terrible, but okay. we'll live with it. Just live with our looks right now. We're going to bed. So, um, on my student email, I got an email saying blah blah blah, students in London, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Ian McKellen is doing a rehearsal for his one man show on the day. Send us your name mm -hmm. and the amount of tickets you want. Mm -hmm. And but did we'll you email the people who get it? Did you just say you wanted two tickets? I literally just went, uh, hi, my name is. What? May I please have two tickets so for nice. the event? Blah blah blah. Sincerely, no. Mm. Sent. Got an email back four days later because I was on my phone when I got the email, so I just went Wah! and replied. Mm. Got an email four days later saying, Congratulations on getting tickets. They've been capped at two, so if you'd asked for more, then you can only have two. It's a kick I only asked for two. Yeah. There you go. And then you sent it to me and, a, and another friend. Yes. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and then you asked me if I wanted to go. I literally just wanted, if you can get to London, you can have the other ticket. Mm. And I got the cheapest tickets to London. How much were they? Uh, about... Um, put together. Mm -hmm. Uh, 330 Norwegian. Yeah. That's what we're doing. And um, I had second thoughts about coming because I am so sick. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, um, it's Ian McKellen. Sir, Ian McKellen. So now we're going to watch. Now we're going to watch Jack mm -hmm. Because we're both in love with him. He's amazing. He has a girlfriend now. What? <laughs> what? I have not been aware of this. I wasn't aware of this fact. I How was. much have you been stalking him? He said it in the Q&A. Oh, okay. So it was all innocent. I have not been stalking him, uh. I swear. So we are at BFI and waiting to see Ian McKellen rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? I'm so excited, like, oh my god, it's Gandalf <laughs> and Magneto and oh my god. Yeah, I'm, you know me, I'm a huge fan girl, so yeah, so I'm very excited. And it's Shakespeare, and you know me. <laughs> I'm very much like, I don't care what he's doing, it's even my camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Shakespeare, so that makes it even better. That's very true. I'm still sick, by the way. But you look flawless. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost died because after it, well, let's talk about it first. It first. So yeah. inspirational. It was so cool. Oh. And it was uh, it was just amazing because we didn't really know what to expect. We were really afraid that it would just be a screening and that he wouldn't even be there. But he was. <laughs> and it was more of like a lecture if anything yeah. else, I think. Um and basically he was just talking about his relationship with Shakespeare, uh, Shakespeare's life, stuff like that. Which was really it's so windy. Which was really cool. Um, and then he he did a couple of speeches. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end, after we sat down outside, <laughs> and Mujer was like doing something with his bag, with her bag, sorry. Her bag. And he walked past, and I literally just went, "Thank you." And he goes, <laughs> and walks past. And Mujer's like still looking in her bag. I'm like, "Girl, it was even killed." She's like, the back turn. and she goes. Where? I'm like, he just walked right past us! I had eye contact with Sir Ian yeah. McKellen! <laughs> no, I told you, I was like, he is Why there, but I said it in Norwegian. I said like, he's right there. Else, because I was, we were having another conversation, so I didn't hear that part. She oh. just ignores me, and with that, ignored the opportunity to talk to Ian McKellen. Could you say, Bill, oh, whoa, oh, back in time, yeah. not trying to rock you. I'm trying to help you. But he did. <laughs> He did, um, what is the Elvish word for, for friend? That's what he should have said. Yes. 
Yeah. But he did make um, he did make an X Men joke though with like he Fassinger did and uh, uh, Jason. Boyd. And he kept talking about Trevor Nunn, and I wrote um, yeah. an essay on Trevor Nunn last year. I, so like, I know that name. I know that name. Who is Trevor Nunn? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Nunn is a director that has to direct so many uh, movies about Shakespeare or like okay, Shakespeare It's plays. probably where I had the name <laughs> Hello! Hi! So what are we doing today? We are partying with Norwegian YouTubers. Yeah, we're currently at Hella Sandfuls house and we're pre-drinking and everything and then it's just like we're going to uh, this guy's house <laughs> and partying. It's obviously because it's tons and tons of YouTubers, it's obviously not allowed to bring cameras and everything and vlogging no, stuff. No vlogging. No vlogging. But we'll vlog what we can. Yeah. <laughs> We are going to Jonas uh, and getting drunk there. I'll put his link in the description as well. Now we are going to shop Fireball because that's yeah. right. <laughs> Keeping that in. Um, yeah, that is it. <laughs> that's currently finished. I'm singing Disney songs, getting very drunk. And uh, these are my lovely Puerto Rican girls. It is Mary, as you all know, Helle, as you know, Matilda. Um, she surely does Norwegian. And then there's the girl from Norwegian Twins. Um, oh, Norway Twins, sorry. I'm not sure if she does Norwegian or English, but the link is in the description, nevertheless. And then there is my brother in the corner. Let's get back to getting drunk. Should we call someone, get you a spray jacket? Are you drunk? Yes. Okay. Are you drunk? No. This girl is is my uh, spirit animal. They are the same person. She's I like scared. High School Musical, One yeah. Direction, Harry Styles. Oh. Amy wants to be inside her. Yeah. No homo, yes homo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, How we are you just know? like outside of this click. <laughs> Yay! Where are we going? Oh, oh. we're going to a studio. <laughs> To have some picture taken because today I am uh, assistant manager. Yeah, manager assistant. You've always been our assistant manager. We wouldn't even have a partner program if it wasn't for you calling me in Greece, going, "You should get one." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're calling you. Pick up. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Because <laughs> we'd already said no to everyone else because we were like, we don't really understand what partner programs are. Who cares? We don't need one. And then you go, "Yes, you do." <laughs> yes, you do. Because Pick up on that call. Awesome. You have an awesome offer from my partner production company or what do you call it? Yeah. Are you excited? You've been happy ever since, haven't you? Yeah, we have been happy ever since. <laughs> and we were at a party yesterday. Yes, we were. So how is everyone feeling today? Good, I was gonna say surprisingly yeah. not hungover. I know. Although I was very drunk. Very drunk. You were so drunk. Shut up. <laughs> You, you two were adorable. Oh, thank you. You went up to the bed. <laughs> and you too, Chris. Thank How you. are you doing? I'm all right. Are you hungover? No. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Oh, you haven't eaten yet? No, we had um, yes, cereal. Yeah. Cereal. <laughs> 